hello what's up guys it's crypto everything here again welcome to today's video uh in my previous videos i told you that i was going to show you how to use metamask um extension on android browsers okay you know um extensions are only permitted to be used on desktops or laptops and all that but now i'm going to be showing you how to use your metamask on your browser instead of using the application okay so if that is what you feel like watching and you feel like that should that is going to be interesting to you why not smash the like button and subscribe and then watch till the end okay so without further ado let's just get into the so i need you to go to play store and search for yandex browser or just yandex okay i've already installed the application and it's just going to come up like this and there you're going to download it and I just click on open okay so the next thing i need you to do is search for metamax or metamask extension okay so and then look for the one that says um, um chrome.google.com this here do not go to metamask.io that is for the application this is for the extensions for our desktop users okay and now we're just gonna click on it and wait for it to load so after loading it's gonna be like this okay so what we have to do now is put it on desktop mode okay so click those three dots right here and click this desktop version here click on it and wait for it to load Okay, so we are here right now. As you can see, right here, it's showing me a remove from Chrome, which shows that I already have it in my Chrome. Sorry to cut in, but if you're a Nigerian and you're watching this video and you have any kind of coin to sell, I'm a crypto vendor and I will buy your coins at very good rates. My contact is in the description below. Reach me and we can make deals. Well, if, if for you that are just install, uh, installing it for the first time, it's going to tell you to add to extension. You just click on add and it's going to download. And when it has downloaded, that is all. The next thing you have to do now is this come over here where these three dots is just come over here click on that okay look for some this extension there's an extension um button here just click on it and all your extensions are going to show all the extensions that you have available they're going to show up so all i have to do now is click on the metamask okay for for first time users you're going to have to set up your metamask so you just click on it and wait do not touch your screen just let it load if you touch it, it's not going to work it's going to pop up very soon so just wait okay so as you can see right here now for those that have not created your account so i already have an account here so i wouldn't want to uninstall or clear it out and then put it back on put it back in again that is too much stress so i just decided to show you how to do it over the one that i already have so if you don't have an account with them already okay the first thing is going to how it's going to pop up is like this so when you click on lock it's going to come up like this tell you to create your account and all that stuff your 12 keyword phrases and you save them and you put in a password and all that and that is the password that i have here over my phone right now okay but then if you already have an account and you just want to import it the next what you have to do is come over here check import using secret um, um phrase okay this is where you click when you click on that if you click on that you're gonna it's gonna tell you to put in your 12 your keyword phrases for your for your metamask and all that so you're gonna put in your 12 keyword phrases here okay and then you're gonna set a, a new password okay so once you set a new password and you click on restore so if you had this um, um wallet in another device before it's going to come here although it will still be in the other device but it's going to be here now now it's going to be in your extension as an extension in this your index browser so this is the browser you're going to be using to access your metamask okay every time you want to open your metamask you have to put in the password that you have already set while creating it right now okay so i'm going to put in my password and open my account for for you i have zero bnb so as you can see this is the tutorial account then if I want to, because this is like the pop-up view, I can decide to say, okay, I want it in a bigger view. I want to open it like, I want to do more things in this MetaMask. So all you have to do is click on here. Okay, just click on this, the three dots right here. Click on it and click ex expand view. Okay, it's going to give you a bigger picture or a better interface for you to interact with your MetaMask. Okay, so you can see here. Now, when you create your account, the only main net you're going to have is Ethereum. Okay, the only main net you're going to have is Ethereum. All of these, this... Uh, Avax, Minet, Matic, Smart Chain, all this, I added them myself mm -hmm. and I can show you how to add it because there are sometimes you 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 want to receive some coins like BNB, though you have received it, but you can't find it because you you have not put in the main net that will show your, your coins and all that stuff. So you're going to have to add your network to it, okay? So if you want to add your Avax, your Meta, your Smart Chain, your Polygon, anyone, all you have to do is click on Add Network right here, okay? Now, the next thing you need to do is you can just put this in desktop mode. Just, let's put it in desktop mode so that we can see it better okay it's in desktop mode now all of these parameters that you need you can find them online but i, can, I will link 
all of them in the description below so that you can copy and paste it i'm just gonna let's do the one for bsc although i already have binance smart chain but i can do it again for, for the purpose of this video all you have to do now is so this is um a medium article where you can, you can just search it like on google and just ask for maybe you're looking for matic or polygon you can just say um matic and polygon same thing so you can just say polygon mainnet on metamask and something will just pop up and you can look for articles or i could just help you by linking them in the description okay so this is the binance um, um smart chain if you want to link it with your your metamask so these are the parameters that you need to copy and paste in your own in, in your own metamask okay then you can have the metamask i mean binance smart chain on your metamask okay so um i'm just going to copy and paste everything there okay so right here you can just give it whatever name you want you can just give it binance smart chain and then here we're going to copy the parameters and put them all of them in here okay so i'm just going to put in smart chain but if you look closely it's going to tell you something it's telling me um this url this url is currently used by the smart chain network that's because i already have a smart chain network on this phone like i told you on this metamask i already have one but if you are creating your own account it's, gonna, it's not going to show you this all you just have to do is put in the, the right parameters okay new R rpc um all the symbols everything that you need to do are going to be there in the description all you just have to do is copy and paste and then you just click on save okay when you click on save uh, then you cannot close this when you close this sorry when you close this you cannot come over here and click on this click on this place that says smart smart chain this place that says smart chain click on it then you will see the list of um you know chains that you have see so i have smart chain may automatic mean and avax ethereum and this avalanche they are the same thing avalanche and avax they are the same thing uh but this is a test net this is the test net below and this is the main net okay so uh after that is done then you can add all that other uh, main nets that you want to so i've already added all of this so i'm going to link all the all the things that you need all the links and all the names that you need in the description for each of the of the chains say binance smart chain maybe polygon then i can leave in uh, avalanche for you too maybe just three then if you want more you can search on google to find them then you just have to add network add network and more of that the difference is that why you need all these things is that although if they want to send the coins to you all you just have to do is copy if you copy the the link right here if you send ethereum to it it's going to appear here in your ethereum because they all have the same address this address for ethereum is the same address for avax is the same address for matic the same address for uh, smart chain that's just it the only reason why you are adding this um uh, all these chains is because if you want to view your coins you need to view it on the smart chain it is built on so you can't view binance smart chain projects on the ethereum network so also you can't view the ethereum uh, based projects on the binance network that's why you need their separate networks to view those particular coins okay and then if you want to add a token let's say you, you've been sent bnb but now you have created your bnb but you can't find your bnb or maybe they sent you another token that is built on the Binance Smart Chain. They've sent you to this wallet, but you can't find it. All you have to do is come over here, click on import token, this import token here, click on this, and then so you search on the, you click on custom token, sorry, click on custom token, then just copy in the contract address. If you paste in the contract address, you see that it automatically loads, or you have to put in the symbol and the token decimal, you just click on add custom token. Then if they had sent you that token before, it's going to appear whatever value of tokens it is that it sent to this address is going to be here you're going to be seen here also so that is just pretty much it is the same way you use your normal uh, metamask on your app on your desktop the same way it's just that for you to be able to open your metamask on your browser you'd have to use your yandex extension and it's only yandex that i know of that can give you that option to use an extension on browsers okay on android so i think that is pretty much it and make sure when you are creating your metamask make sure you save your seed phrases maybe save them in your email as draft or something because if you lose your phone you can't get them back same way with trust wallet okay and i think this is all for today guys if there's anything that i missed um please show uh, ask me or tell me in the comment section below and please like and subscribe to my youtube channel i'll see you next time guys